The other night before I left to come to Mull, I was going to sleep and I was just hearing through the window this sound of a bellowing rodent. It was so loud. And when I got to Mull, of course, I couldn't stop but start to think about the red deer during this season. And our camera team have been out already and they've already caught this. Now, of course, it's autumn, which means it's the rutting season. So here we have a stag looking rather dapper, I have to say. He's checking out, looking around for some competition that has come on. Now, males at this time of year will employ all sorts of highly ritualized behavioral interactions because ultimately, they don't want to fight. That's incredibly energetically costly and could incur lots of injury. So they walk parallel to one another, they chase one another, and also they bellow. There's been lots of research that shows that the bigger the antler, the louder the roar or the bellow, then the greater chance of reproductive success. But sometimes fights do occur, and in fact, during the rutting season, which lasts about three weeks, on average, a male will fight about five times. And when that happens, they can incur some quite serious injuries. In fact, 5% of stags during this year develop permanent injury. I mean, look at that. The force behind that collision there, that sound as well. And you can see that individual on the right-hand side has got quite a bad gnash on the side of its face just behind its ear there quite gruesome but look at that it's pretty pretty spectacular and of course if you watch autumn watch all the time you will be used to images like this you'll know about their antlers you'll know exactly about the bellowing but this is where it gets exciting because there's some new science and this is pretty incredible they've developed a new sexual trait called a ventral patch now i know what you're thinking what does that look like well we're going to show you have a look below this stag now you can see potentially the dark hair that runs on its abdomen it goes from its penis all the way up to the base of the neck it's incredibly dark and it's a different type of hair. The hairs are narrower and they've also got a slightly different texture. And this is in order to retain chemical compounds. These chemical compounds are lipidic and they change throughout the age of the animal, which indicates its fitness. So depending on the chemicals within its ventral patch depends on how fit it is. But where do these compounds come from? Well, if you're eating your dinner, I suggest that you stop because this is quite spectacular, a bit of deer yoga, because they actually urinate on themselves to do it. And here you can see this clip that was sent in to us with this male, I have to say he's got a gorgeous set of antlers, coming along. And look, it's red deer yoga. You can clearly see him bending down there to urinate on his ventral patch. And this is incredibly important because it convey, uh, conveys information, of course, visually, because other potentially competitive males see this ventral patch, and if it's incredibly large, you know that that's a dominant male. But also, you can smell it. And for female deer, I have to say, the smellier and the hairy, the better. So I suppose each to their own, but I think that's a fantastic and exciting new piece of science, something I never imagined when you look at red deer, but incredible. Chris, Michaela, I mean, I know, Chris, that's probably right up your street, isn't it? Deers weeing on themselves to get chemical compounds out to females. It's definitely right up my street, and that's why I've equipped myself here with my very own ventral patch. Ventral patch. Now, what about that, eh? Michaela? All I can say, Chris, is I don't recommend you peeing on it to attract a just female. On, just straight into the bushes. As soon as we finish, I'm going to <laughs> anoint <laughs> my ventral patch, and I assure you it will probably pay dividends. But you're right, Max. Absolutely top new science. Fantastic stuff. It's a good look, Chris. It's a good look. Not. <laughs> oh, the ventral patch. The first human ventral patch. Fake fur, of Dear course, folks. Me.